What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a review of the upcoming Jordan 5 Top 3. Yeah. Guys, today we have our hands on the Jordan 5 Top 3, set to release June 20th. This has recently updated probably since Sunday, Monday night. It, one of the days when I initially dropped my sleeper keep, there was no release date, but it just recently happened. So we are getting two releases this week. One being the 6 hair, which is dropping on the 17th with his tomorrow. And then we're dropping these on the 20th, which I would believe is Saturday. I'm not going to check, but... Correct me if I'm wrong. We have here though today the Jordan 5 Top 3, which pays tribute to the top three iconic releases from Jordan 5. And that is the grape, the metallic, as well as the fire red. And they found a way to match all these up. And I think they did a pretty good execution if you ask me. It's not the best looking shoe of all time, but it's definitely a good looking shoe. And it's something dope to add to the collection if you are a Jordan head or a sneaker head. We've seen it with the top three and the ones. We've seen the what the dunk fours. And now we got a pair of our own in the fives. The shoe itself features an all upper of a new buck or dura buck material. Very similar, if not the same. I would honestly say it's the same material that was used on the Jordan 6 DMP when it comes to this material on the upper. Very porous and soft. Not much of a fur like effect, more of a flat. So that more so I would say on the Durabuck side of things. But once again, as I've always stated guys, I'm not a materiologist. I don't know the materials used on the different types of leather cuts and all this and that when it comes to sneakers. I know it, but Jordan brand doesn't tell me it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes leather feels like leather and it's not it's synthetic. So it is what it is. But the shoe itself features that upper Durabuck. You have here the great tongue. You have a lot of different aspects we'll break down. So let's go ahead and break down the aspects of the shoe and, and, and by doing so I, I had to bring now we guys call these the fire red threes and these are the fire red threes in my eyes too but there's another pair of fire red threes these are not the fire red threes used in that shoe it's these now I've heard both of these being used as fire red threes but I use this more fire red fire red three and this was called a black toe or they would say the gray tongue or whatever or the my bad the black tongue they're both like fire red threes in my opinion. On this box it says fire red three. On that box it says fire red as well. So this is the actual fire red that is used in this sneaker. So we'll go ahead and break down the fire red aspect. The 23 on the side is the fire red three as well as the midsole right here. You see the black is the same. Black and red, bam, you feel me? Um, I guess also that midsole right here where it's red. Now this isn't of course, but this right here is the same as well um, on the bottom the red here and the red there takes from that fire red and that's pretty much it when it comes to the fire red three then you bring over the grape the grape itself has the same tongue you have the emeralds on the bottoms which are the same and i would also probably say i don't know how to check the metallic but the lace locks are black and the lace locks here are black as well so it takes some of that aspect from the grape and on the insole this is emerald, so it's not the it's not the same. Then you have the metallic, the black metallic. Now, that's not the white metallic, it's the black metallic. I would say the whole upper itself is of the black metallic. The shark fins are the metallic with the same metallic patterning. So you can see the speckles and all that. The Nike Air on the back is the same right there. And yeah, I would not, I mean, the, the, the lace lock is red, so I don't think it got it from that aspect. The bottoms don't really feature anything maybe maybe the toe maybe the toe box is where it gets it from so that's about it man you got them mixed and mashed up together very well in my opinion to bring out a pretty decent looking shoe um from some aspects it can look tacky too but to me i think overall they did a well job and i can't i can't get it all on camera it's just too much going on can i get it all just to make it look cool for the for the, for the, for the viewers can i camera this is there it goes yeah i like that top three in full effect but overall, man, I think it's a pretty dope shoe for a collector's item. If my, at least for me, I'm going to rock them. I'm going to wear them. I'm keeping them. They're in my collection. I still got my top three ones. I still got my what the, uh, what the dunk for. So, you know, sometimes I cop and I, I do let it go. But 
This one in particular, I'm keeping with me. The retail on these are 200 flat, so you will be paying that 200 at $10 premium charge. I don't know where it's coming from, if it's because the materials and because it's a classic or whatever they're calling it, but there is a two, uh, $10 upcharge, if you would say. On the back of the tongue, you got that same type of fire red metallic and grape letting you know those top three in this shoe. You have the 23, which we haven't seen. It wasn't even on these pairs at all, so it's kind of cool getting that 23 signature on the side. The mesh, soft as normal. I love that tongue. That grape tongue is just... It's grape as can be, bro. It's grape as can be. Overall, the sizing fits the same as any other Jordan 5 out there. It's definitely a colorful shoe, different colors. So matching it, I wouldn't try to even really match it. I'll just go black or you could throw a purple. You, could, you can match any of these colors and be straight, man. I know you guys don't match as much. I match here and there. I still like to get color coordinated. Now, I don't have to wear a track suit that's all the same color, but I like to mess around. Like with this type of shoe, you could just throw a gray in there and be good to go. Or you could throw a red, you could throw a purple, you could just mix and match whatever you want and you'll be pretty much straight the way this shoe hits in all different aspects. You can pretty much put together any type of outfit when it comes to these. But as stated, these are releasing on the 20th. As far as what I see, I've seen a lot of pairs floating around. So I think this will be a GR in some sort of way. Now, does that mean that the demand is not there? I don't know. I honestly don't feel like that many people are feeling this shoe in my opinion. But that's just from what I read in the comment sections. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe down below. Are you digging it? Are you not? Are you liking it? I like the shoe. I won't lie. If the shoe wasn't called top three or if it didn't pay its tribute to it, I would have looked past this shoe. But the fact that it is giving that recognition and it will be remembered as a top three, I wanted to add it to my collection. Now, I know that may sound like a hype beast type of statement, but pay attention to what I'm saying here. You know... The Jordan 5 Inspire is coming out. That's the Oregon Duck. They're letting us know it's like the Oregon Duck, but they're calling it something different. That kind of hurts me a little bit more. Like, ah, uh, man, I really want the Oregon Duck how it is, but they're doing this, so I can kind of respect it a little bit, but at the same time, it kind of hurts because they're not really paying it. Like, they're not making it obvious. They're trying to be subtle with it. With these, they're letting us know top three, metallic, fire red, great. The best of the fives are in this shoe. And it kind of just makes it, uh, I just like the story behind it. I just like the theme, I like the story, and it will always be remembered that way. You know, it's not going to be like, oh, this is Jordan Brand trying to recreate this, but they're not calling it that. They're making it well known that this is the top three, and this is what it's supposed to be, these top three shoes right here. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know if you got any questions down below. I will be in the comment section. I'm dropping this at 9. I'll be in the comment section and comment until at least 9.30 to you guys if you have any questions or if you just want to say anything, man. I appreciate all the birthday wishes, and let's keep this thing rocking out, man. I got another banger for you guys dropping maybe tomorrow, if not Thursday. We got a lot of stuff coming in. Like I said, we are just dropping. We're not flopping. We're dropping, baby. It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in. I'm checking out. I love y'all, man. Peace. Go follow me over on Twitch right now, man. Tony D2 Wild. I'm out.